Yeah, I think you, maybe you should change back to your normal underwear. <laughs> Shitagi. You don't have to push yourself to wear it just because it's a present, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you want to tell me? <laughs> Come on, leave your skirt up! <laughs> uh, maybe not now, maybe in your route. <laughs> well, I mean, she doesn't mind because she's, you know, Yuma's childhood friend. <coughs> Are you getting jealous, Yui? Tsukishima directs a displeasing gaze at me. I guess she figured it would be pointless to argue with Mio. But in this context, I'm not exactly comfortable with being her secondary target either. If possible, I wanted to stay out of it. But well... I guess I can't afford to stay quiet anymore. Mio, I have an important notice for you from the PMC. You're a girl, so you have to treasure yourself more. Show a friend or whatever, don't show your underwear to someone of the opposite sex so readily. Unless we're, you know, in private. <laughs> hey, but it's still part of discipline. A smile surfaces on Tsukishima's face as she hears my words. <coughs> uh, yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Um, no, actually, no. Yeah, see if. I'll think about it. <laughs> no, what do I mean? I'll think about it. Of course, I'm gonna do it. Um, why am I even saying? I'm telling you, I won't. And I also just told you not to show me either way. I think just that, that, that picture we saw earlier is good enough. <laughs> I mean, didn't, we, didn't she say something about something sticking out? <laughs> uh, 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 well, we'll probably save that for another time. I may be the only one whom she's like that with, but I begin to feel anxious about her future nonetheless. Alright, this is another personal notice from Yuri this time. <coughs> okay, uh, well, this is more of an official one, okay? But hey, that means you'll be working alone. We can't leave you alone. Tsukishima? <coughs> but why have to be why do I have to be the one to spend the day with her, the, her birthday with her? Me alone? You come along too, Yuri. I'm playing your route. Oh, Hanako seems to be supportive of her going on with Mio and Yuma, or is it more like because Hanako doesn't want me flirting with Mio? Uh, Hanako suddenly appears and forces the back onto Tsukishima without giving her the chance to object. Oh, wait, is that the uh, back? Is that the back with the full of manga? <coughs> or is this another pack of VR manga? <laughs> the hell, where did she get that part 2? <laughs> another heavy bag? <laughs> God damn it, Hanako got back up. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm impressed at the sheer amount of books you brought to school. In a certain sense, I want to applaud her for that feat. Oh no, Anna, ah, Yuri's gonna faint! <laughs> what? She, she tags along as a bad carrier? No! I'm gonna carry, carry both of them! I'm a man! <laughs> Don't worry, Yuri! I'm gonna carry it for you! <coughs> 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 
坂道もあって大変なのにな<笑> Wow, Hanako As Hanako actually figured something out that Because I mean Wasn't like Hanako Like kind of like Telling her that you have no hope You know Don't, don't get along with Yuma But why is she now suddenly Seem to support Hanako uh, Seem to support Yuri Hanako have a change of heart or something? Tsukishima mutters so in apparent, apparent resignation. Wait, actually, I don't think I've been to Mio's house before yet, right? Yeah, the only, the closest we have been to her house was at her shrine. And I know that Mio and her sister live at the shrine, right? Yeah, but that's the furthest we went. We haven't been beyond that. We haven't gone beyond that. No, go gone to her house. Probably that will only happen in Mio's route. Look, Mio says so too. So why don't you hang out with us if there's no urgent work today? <coughs> oh, what does that have to do with plotting against you behind your back, no? No, I need, you definitely have a motive, Hanako. <laughs> After cursing shortly, Hanako quickly left our classroom. Well, maybe. Well, she's being considerate of us, right? Yeah. Alright, to Mio's place then. Yeah, I mean, y Yuri can be really stubborn at times, you know. Like, she's the sort of girl where we, we have to be more stubborn than her in order to get our, you know, get her to do something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Saying so to Kishima's mouth, I'll be somewhat wryly. Oh. So this is the first time we're in Mio's house And I think this is Mio's bedroom, right? It looks pretty different, no? With, the, with those green curtains That's the first thing that came across my mind That catches my attention The green curtains Yeah and Other than that, there's plants There's some photos to the left And then uh, two mushrooms Two kinokos <laughs> uh, Okay a pretty neat room And that's Miu Yeah, this girl is Miu, right? Miu's elder sister Yeah Yeah, that's why I've been wondering Who's Miu? Oh yeah, I remember She was Miu's elder sister Yeah, this girl But she always wearing her, her shrine maiden I I mean her shrine maiden outfit I don't think I've ever seen her Wearing any other outfit hmm. But we'll see well, I wonder if Miu's a root <laughs> Maybe in the fan this or what, I don't know but hey, anyway, we're here, to, we're here to celebrate Mio's birthday. As we arrived at Mio's house, her older sister Mio-san heartily welcomed us. Ah, sure. <coughs> Come on, Yuri, don't be so modest. Why don't you just drop your reservations for today and let yourself get treated? No, it's good to spoil yourself once in a while, Yui. Why are, so, why are you so embarrassed about? <coughs> nice one, Miyu. Way to trick. <laughs> you need to stay here. Yes, yes, good one. Persuading her rather, not tricking her. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, and also do remember that uh, Yuri and. Not, not Yuri. Mio and Miyu are staying alone, right? In this house. Because their parents stay in another place. Uh, yeah, and their grandparents have also moved to. Like, they have pretty much retired because they used to own the shrine. 
yeah, now they handed their duties to these two girls as you know, the their grandparents when they are now staying in a village. Yeah. <coughs> After receiving an attack from Miyu san and a follow up attack from Mio, Tsukishima finally falls, yeah. Too, too, those attacks are too strong. <laughs> Without giving us any time to offer help, the, chi the Ishinose sisters leave the room. Should I have gone along to it? Oh. Sorry, that, that's Yuri. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's not when, it should be gone. You're technically a guest right now, so you make them feel awkward if you gave them a hand, don't you think? But, well, I guess it, it doesn't help to offer help, you know. Nothing likely, Tsukishima slackens her shoulders. Oh, that's the first thing you think about? Yeah, I think Miu is pretty. I hear she's famed as the Miko beauty in the neighborhood too. It's a, uh, basically like the, a beautiful shrine maiden. <coughs> No, actually I think both of you get along, just in a very different way. <laughs> like the Tsundere way. Is that actually the case? In my eyes, both of them don't really seem to be on bad terms with each other either. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, they fight, they you know, tend to jab at each other, but the fact that they're doing this is actually pretty close in a sense too. You know? They're just close in a different way. Ah, why are you looking at me? A, a photo of me on the left. <laughs> what Tsukishima came across was a photo pinned to a cockboard above Mio's desk. The photo shows Mio and me back when we were kids. I don't know whether it's because it's a photo from before I got into the accident, but with a clear difference in height as there is now, Mio and I are lined up, both of us having the same innocent smile on our faces. <laughs> Well, that was before the accident, I think. Well, can't argue with that. Come on, Yuri, don't overthink things. If that was the case, it wouldn't be all too strange if I was still able to reproduce that smile, don't you think? I think I know what Yu is trying to say. Yeah, she's trying to say, do you love, huh? <laughs> not, not, not Yuri, but do you love me, oh? Yeah, but she, she didn't manage to finish her sentence. With perfect timing to cut off Tsukishima's words, Mio returns to the room. You're talking to me? Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. Small? I don't think it's small though. With the two of them back, it quickly becomes bustling inside the room. What, what, what was Tsukishima about to say just now? Yeah, I know, I just said that. But actually, why were we having a birthday celebration in Mio's bedroom? Why not in the living room though? Maybe something special in Mio's bedroom? I'm a bit curious, but let's just focus on celebrating Mio's birthday for now. We'll find that out eventually. Well, now that I get a better look at the bed, because earlier we couldn't get a good view of the bed because it was blocked by... I think <laughs> locked by the yeah one of the characters. But now that you get a good view of the bay, hey, there's a chick there and a dog, <laughs> and I get a better view of the plants. Hmm. This what you kind what do you call these kind of plants? Like like roof plants or something like that. Some I know there's a term for it. Some what pandemonium or what I don't I know pandemonium is not the right word, but yeah something like that you know. Uh, 
The four of us managed to finish the whole cake. How big is it? As you might expect, seeing that she appears rather tortured, that quantity was probably a bit too much for Mio, who has the smallest body among us. You mean the smallest appetite? Well, I mean she has the smallest body, that's for sure. She's actually pretty short, as we saw earlier compared to Yuma. Yeah, actually pretty short, like maybe like 1.5 something like a 6 before, 1.5 something, 1.5 something CM. Mew-san was most likely also concerned that she ate too much as she told us she would open some fat with shine work and left. Okay. Uh, yeah? Hmm? I contact from Tsukishima. Won't you give her the present? It's in all likelihood the, the implication. Well, let's give together. Good point. It might just be the right time for it now. Mew, can I have your attention for a moment? Nani? I exchange glances with Tsukishima once again, then hold out the present we choose together. This is the present Tsukishima and I choose and bought together. Once again, O Tanjobi Omedeto! Yep. I'm saying it in, in advance. Don't expect too much, it's nothing outstanding, but. Knowing Mio, I think she'll, she'll still be happy nonetheless. <sighs> she isn't listening at all. However, with Mio like this, looking at her was even more heartwarming than usual. <laughs> oh, is this something you like a lot? She carefully unwraps the present and peeks inside. The next moment, she throws up. What's the matter, Mio? But wait, she's not happy? I'm sure she's happy. I think maybe she's like shocked to the point where oh, I can't believe it! I can't believe you gave this to me! Oh no, I'm so touched! Or something like that. No. As we both address her worriedly, Mio lightly shakes her head. Oh. You're actually happy that both of us choose a present for you together? <laughs> Gradually, tears begin to well up from the corners of her eyes. I mean, she's quite an emotional girl, but for good. But she's. But it's for good cause, you know, for. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good thing, you know. <laughs> Well, it's, it's the thought that counts, right? Sure, sure, yes, Mio. Yeah, I mean, it's the thought that counts. I mean, Mio is really touched by the thought that counts. So, now you're exaggerating, Mio. <laughs> I suppose seeing Mio cry must have gotten her emotional. Since Tsukishima is also tearing up a bit, I'll step out for a bit. I quietly left the room, careful not to look at their tearful eyes. I mean faces. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I mean Yuma exited the room, the room for a while, right? The house. While I was killing some time outside, Mio and Tsukishima showed up. Now I don't think I've seen the shrine in the evening settings, and but it really looks beautiful in the evening setting. Like you know those trees, they kind of look like autumn trees, but at the same time they aren't because it's still spring, <laughs> so it's actually just normal green leaves. But because of the evening sunlight, it looks they look like autumn trees, which gives a pretty nice glow to the whole setting here. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll escort you, Yuri. Right, it's already getting dark after all. Yeah, like, company Yuri home? I'll... It's not that late yet, but I guess I'll escort Tsukishima home anyway. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we have to protect her. <laughs> Just in case, yeah? Ren no Tameni. Above all, there was a lot to be thankful for towards her to today. Yuri, don't be stubborn. I insist that I will accompany you. 
No, you'll be back soon. So I'll see you to the dawn. I always got you, you see? Yeah. You must be stubborn. You must be stubborn towards someone like you, you know? I always got you. No questions asked. Ta -ta. <laughs> I say so somewhat forcefully, interrupting her. I mean, you're, you're, you're stubborn yourself, so I have to be more stubborn than you. <laughs> Tsukishima looked at me as if she wanted to add something, but then heaved a sigh in a resigned fashion. It's just fine this way. If you aren't at least this pushy with her, it's rather clear she would act all reserved and wouldn't comply precisely. We get to know her personality better now. Alright then, Mio. See you tomorrow. Mata ashita. Yeah, you take care too, Mio. Well, I'm more in love with you. I'm, I'm more worried about you, so... It's not like I'm with her all the time when it's her birthday. Besides, even if I didn't bring it up, Mio surely would have told me to escort you. Yeah, she would have, I'm sure. Yeah. So just let me escort you without complaining. Please don't misunderstand, Yui. <laughs> well, we are childhood friends after all. Well, that's childhood friends, but that doesn't always mean love, you know. Tsukishima looked at me and smiled. Hmm. Nico Nico, really? I don't think we're doing anything special or outstanding though. Shizen, mm, second nature. I don't quite that get it. Well, it's like, it just feels so natural that. Yeah, like, because of that, it, it's no. That's why your bond is very. Your bond with, you must bond with Mio is very strong. Mio and I are childhood friends. We've been like that since forever, so I really can't see what's so special. But that's precisely what's so special. What is it now? Well, I'm just worried. Just let me be worried about you. <laughs> Saying so, she increases her pace to a jog and goes several steps ahead of me. Well, I'm a man after all. <laughs> Two steps, three steps, and a fourth step. Oh, are you falling in, me, in love with me now? Even more? As she says so, an extremely beautiful smile appears on her face. I couldn't help but stop in my tracks and have my eyes fixed upon her. <sighs> Don't say stuff like that and let's hurry instead. Embarrassed that I got rooted in place by her smile, I quickly catch up to her. <laughs> Tsukishima keeps walking next to me with an unruffled expression. It's the most comfortable stride length and pace for me. Despite the long hill road, traces of exertion aren't appearing on her face. See, Tsukishima. Thanks for today. There's no need to rush, so let's walk a bit more leisurely. I dropped my pace, and yeah, let's just enjoy the, the trees, you know, uh, beside us. Matching that, Tsukishima also set us in a slower pace. With faintly ragged breathing. <laughs> You'll be tired, yeah? We should just slow down a bit. You also want to thank me? Her feebly muttered words fade away, as if being soaked by the evening sun dyed Cherry Blossom Tree Avenue. Oh, it's already night time, and now we're in Yuri's perspective. 
After that, I talked about all sorts of stuff with Asaba Kun. The contents of our conversation were all basically just incoherent and petty. Yet it was so much fun that I lost any sense of time. <clears throat> you so wish for birthdays like that? Don't worry, September's coming soon. <laughs> I mean, in the in the time in this vision of it, that is. You mean like at you know's place? うちの家は親からお金だけを渡されて好きなものを買いなさいっていう感じだったからいやでいやでしかもさっきあれですねあれですねあれですねあれですねあれですねあれですねあれですねあれですねあれですねあれですねあれですねあれですねあれですねあれ
Well, I was just kidding. You don't have to particularly mind my birthday, actually. Yeah, that's true. Then maybe you dress up as Santa Claus and bring me a present on Christmas. And maybe on your birthday too. <laughs> That'll be funny though, but, but we need a chimney. But I think there are hardly any houses in Japan that have chimneys, right? Yeah, not, not a lot. I couldn't help but entertain this thought. And also one thing I know about this road wait. What Mio, why do you have a dream when where you were my older sister? <laughs> uh, as we come to May 9th Thursday. But yeah, what I was saying earlier is uh yeah I think there have been quite a number of uh scenes that that, that, that are in Yuri's perspective. I think it seems to be a lot more than in Konami and and Aunt's roots, so yeah, I think we're we're gonna expect a lot more of uh, the scenes from you, Ri's perspective. Well, to begin with, your birthday is about one month earlier than mine, so the notion in and of itself is not too strange. Ah, uh, so Mio basically is one month older than Yuma. I don't know whether it's because that trivia fact makes her happy or why. But Mio has been in a great mood since this whole time. If you want, maybe I should call you Mio Onechan or something. Okay, <laughs> even though you're shorter than me. Also, I thought, but somehow you feel off to call you that way. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm so much taller than you. But anyhow, she really seems to enjoy herself. I suppose you could say that's mirroring just how happy she was on her birthday yesterday. Seeing Mio like this, I'm sure Tsukishima is also going to be happy. Okay, One-chan. <laughs> and first of all, from my perspective, you're more like a high maintenance little sister. <laughs> really. As our conversation goes on, the two of them head towards our classroom. Lunch break. The moment I show up in the student council room, Senpai instantly comes at me as if she has been waiting for me to appear. Well, I'm not part of your group. You, you don't cling on to me. <laughs> as long as you just say something, I'll help you whenever I find the time. We until the summer break, yeah? Right. It's true that we haven't done stuff like that since we split up. You're the, you're the one left out in the cold about So and Honami. <laughs> While voicing her complaint suddenly, she directs her gaze at the fashion magazine that was on the table. Oh, that same mag fashion magazine where Yuri's picture is, photo is, the, yeah, as a fashion model. Yeah. In the end, the freshman girl who brought it along didn't come to retrieve the magazine, probably too afraid. This isn't a first, which is why this robe keeps piling up random stuff. I think she looks very professional, very genuinely happy. It's pretty, yeah, and pretty too, and sexy. Well, not really sexy, but... <laughs> uh, you want me to say more? Well, I just said what I said. <laughs> I'm more descriptive than Yuma. What do you want to hear? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say those lines. <laughs> no, not really. Come on, don't talk on me now just because of something this silly. Boy, judging by the way she badges me, I suppose she really meant it when she said she wants my attention. Yeah, I think Yuma can persuade her to do modeling again. I mean, yeah, I think so. Did you mail off her application because you wanted to make her famous? Yeah, 
さもったいないと思ったんだ。What do you mean you'd be a waste if you just left her alone? What do you mean? ユーマくんは気づいてると思うけど、ユーリは何をするにも他人のことを優先でしょああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ
何か心当たりはある Nope, I'm totally clueless. Wait, hold on. I think I saw something here. I don't think I remember seeing this box right here before.、Uh, this box, the, the words here is pronounced in Japanese as Aijo Mikan. Basically means love oranges. <laughs> I don't know why they call love oranges, but、um, if I'm not wrong, Mikan is oranges, yes. But I'll, 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 conf I'll, check, I'll confirm it again later. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, basically, love oranges. <laughs> Why is that a box of love oranges? <laughs> Just as Senpai said, Tsukishima is acting strange. I've practically never seen her heaving a sigh like that. Huh. Hey, aren't you supposed to ask Mio to accompany you? Taking her armband, Tsukishima quickly left the room. Yeah, I know. I also go on patrol. Yeah, I, I got that. Seen off by Mio, I chase after Tsukishima. Tsukishima strides through the hallway as if she's running away from something. It's just like her that she doesn't run in this situation. But all the same, you can't possibly recognize that she's patrolling. After a while, although she seemed to hesitate, I saw her enter the infirmary. Huh? Is she feeling bad or something? In that case, it would be reasonable that her spirits appear so low today. Hmm, might as well enter. After Charlie sitting on the fence, I stepped into the infirmary. Ojama shimas! What, what do you mean it's me or all people? <laughs> yeah, you feeling sick or something, Yuri? Or is it. Emotionally sick? She looks a bit bummed. Did she possibly come here to consult with Nao san about something? Well, if, if it's something to do with love, you should consult me, even though you're the one, I'm the one you're in love with. <laughs>、uh, we're not apprehending anyone. <laughs> That's not why I'm here. I just happened to pass nearby while on patrol and came to check on you. Oh, you mean to, to consult with Yuri? <laughs> On love problems? What task? Alright, alright. I'll do just that. Because I'm the, I'm the love expert here. I'm the love guru. Not her. <laughs> Alright. That's some remarkable timing. Really? <laughs> I guess I ripped that myself. Huh. I couldn't have made that excuse sound worse. She shrugs her shoulders in response to my gaze, then leaves the infirmary. She probably did that on purpose just to leave the two of us alone. <laughs> Or something like that. Oh no, Yuri, you're not going anywhere! <laughs> hey! Just as we are left alone, Tsukishima tries to take her leave. Before that, don't you have something you want to talk about? Now that Sawada sensei and trust her to me, I'll listen to what you have to say in a place. I retrieve my white coat from the usual place and put it on. Just say, don't be shy. I insist! Whatever she needs consultation on, Might be something difficult to talk to me about though. I silently wait for her to speak. Can you not give me that, that, that cliche line? Right. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The fine weather today. Oh, it would be nice if it was as sunny and clear today. Maybe even snow tomorrow. I don't mind. Even though it's still spring. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Doesn't seem like she wants to talk to about it with me. Okay, Tsukishima, stretch out that arm.、Huh? Maybe it's a tactic to get her to calm down. Puzzled, she follows as ordered.、Hmm. I then carefully removed the PMC unband that is attached to that arm.、Ah, so that now she has no excuse to go on patrol. 
It appeared to me that that might be there might be quite a lot of stuff you can't talk about while you're wearing this. Can I be considerate of her? With the armband detached, Tsukishima's expression softens while she strokes her arm. Seeing that, I breathe a sigh of relief in my mind. <laughs> so she doesn't want to say that because of the armband, because she feels guilty that she, saying all that stuff would be like betraying, going against her, her role as a PMC member. <laughs> Precisely, that's why I, that's why I removed your armband. So that you'll stay here and consult with me. I'll give it back to you once we're done talking. You came here to consult about something, right? I swear to keep it a secret. Or is it something you can't talk to me about? Like I figured, I guess it really must be too difficult to talk about it with me, huh? Okay, I see. Shoganai na. I mean, I can't compel you to talk about it. Don't sweat it. By the way, just where did that nurse go after abandoning her? <laughs> Since I've just been looking at Tsukishima until now, I didn't notice. Uh, but now that I take a look around, it becomes apparent that the room is pretty disordered. While I heave a light sigh, I begin to tidy up, half compelled by habit. More like a love guru, but sure. With a white coat on, anyone would look that way. Hmm, well, I'm just. But I joined the student council of the PMC for a good reason to gain new experience, you know. Well, it's only natural. My work record here is quite a bit longer than at the PMC. At that point, I pause my hands, which are in the middle of tidying, and look at Tsukishima. Come to think of it, aren't you also rather poorly suited for the PMC? Hmm. While you wear that armband, you're always wearing an unsmiling expression. Yeah, I mean, being a PMC member doesn't mean you have to be straight at all times, you know. At the very least, she doesn't display a smile like in that fashion magazine. In return, it makes me want to make her smile like that. I couldn't help but think this way. Anyhow, I'll return the armband to you now. Also, I usually give this out to students who come for counseling, but... <laughs> Here, Ami, candy for ya. Ah, so you know what I mean, huh? Kyos to the Okasio Tabete Kotatinimo, Kibishku Sterundakara. But is there really something wrong with eating sweet in class? I mean, usually you can't eat food in the classroom, but still. Then eat it when you're back at your dog. I'll also give you another one for Hanako. Alright. I let Tsukishima's open hand grasp the two candies. Oh, oh don't worry. Oh, don't worry, we're, we're almost done. Okay. Yeah, keep up the patrolling. Tsukishima lightly bows her head, then leaves the infirmary. Okay. Long time no see. Oh, now. See, we're starting to get more into Yuri's perspective, which is quite interesting because this is something we don't see in An and Konami's roots, so. Yeah. Now I see Yuri. Uh, Yuri gonna get jealous again. <laughs> uh, so, what is it about today? Broken by who? By who? <laughs> by me? Don't worry, Yuri, uh, this is just part of my job. Okay? 
Don't get jealous now. Oh well.